and we're into the last few seconds but this could still slip away Mutuakil winding up here for a long throw flicked on by Hiwalumo retrieved by Z and they've got it into the middle Sam gets it in there and they have equalized oh you just knew it might happen and it's Chris Dixon He's made three appearances before tonight as a substitute and he's come off the bench to get his first Charlton goal and it's 2-2 and we are heading into extra time. This is Corrin. Nicely into the path of Bedner who gets it back into the middle. Oh, it's a great save. To deny McDonald. Nicky Weaver to the rescue. Now that might be difficult for the defender and he's allowed the Charlton player to get goal side of him and he got the strike in, oh, and Kylie has saved it and he's fortunate that nobody was tight in on him to tap in what would have been an easy winning goal and it's Chris Dixon again who proved stronger there than Pele. Charlton will take the first penalty, and it's Luke Varney. Who, oh, hits the crossbar, the first miss, the first penalty. Chris Brunt with the chance to put West Brom ahead in this penalty shootout. And he has. After Charlton had missed their first penalty, West Brom lead 1-0. Having got the equaliser that took us to extra time and then penalties, it's Chris Dixon who scores for Charlton. It's 1-1, but they've already missed one penalty. Jonathan Greening to take West Brom's second penalty. It's one apiece at the moment, but Charlton have had one penalty missed. Oh, and that's saved. It's all square. Nicky Weaver went the right way. Jerome Thomas has come forward to take this third penalty for Charlton. Each team has scored one and missed one. And he puts Charlton in front. Two penalties to one. Nicky Weaver to face the third Albion penalty taken by Robert Corran. Charlton ahead by two penalties to one and it's level again. It's two apiece. Zeng Z for Charlton. It's two penalties each. Oh, and he saves it. Dean Kiley. And that gives West Brom an advantage. So it's James Morrison to take the fourth penalty for West Brom. This could put them in front by three penalties to two. And he's blasted it into the top corner. And that's advantage West Brom with one penalty left each. If Bohera misses this fifth and final penalty, West Brom are through and he's very cool and he just nonchalantly rolls it in. It's three penalties apiece. The fifth and final penalty for West Brom that could put them into the fourth round if Ronan Bedner can beat Nicky Weaver. And he has, and it's Albion's night, 4-3 on penalties. They go through to the fourth round where they'll face League 2 Peterborough. Tony, exciting for your fans, but how about you? Well, I, did, I didn't particularly enjoy it, to be fair. I don't think um, we got going for long periods tonight, and yet we found ourselves 2-0 up, and, um, you know, it was a bit Keystone Cops, the goals we conceded tonight. It was, uh, it was you know, poor defending, poor, poor goals we conceded, and... Um, you know, they kept plugging away, great credit to them. Scratching my head a little bit, uh, we haven't won the game, but um, um, it was a cracking game, some uh, some good goals, some great chances. Um, I think you can see both of us have uh, uh, got a great chance this year in, the, in, in, in terms of promotion. But it was a great cap tie, we were disappointed to lose, 
Um, but really, uh, on the face of it, there wasn't really a loser tonight. The character uh, we've shown uh, will stand us in good stead. And plus, um, we'll get some rest as well in between our championship campaign.